So how does APR and APY actually work? And how is it possible I was able to get away with carrying a balance for the past like 10 months and paying $0 on my credit card? On top of that, if you're wondering, Tommy, why are you covering up this card, bro? Nobody's gonna steal your stuff. Well, imagine to buy Starbucks and blame it on me. Like all my credibility here on YouTube is like completely like done, okay? I'm done. On top of that, guys, here's an interesting fact. Did you know the highest APR ever recorded in history is around 79.99%. So imagine getting a credit card and paying around 80% in interest towards that credit card every single year. Absolutely, absolutely insane. And it was by Premier Bank. They took it off now, but they still have one of the highest rates on the market still up to this day. On top of that, guys, in this video, I'm going to make sure to break down for you how APR works and what's the difference between APR and APY. And on top of that, I'm also going to tell you why unsecured cards also have a higher rate usually than normal credit cards. So if you want to find out all this information, make sure you stick around to this video. Now, guys, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tiny Bryson. I'm an accountant, and I post videos on YouTube every single day. Do you hear me? Yes, I said daily content i post videos every single day so make sure to subscribe to the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video which again is every single day and hit the like button if you're excited to actually find out how i got away with paying no interest for the past like 10 months all while carrying a balance so make sure to stick around for that and comment down below and let me know what's the apr on your credit card currently do you know it do you not know it if you do know it Comment down below, and if you don't know it, well, make sure you know this information, so go search it up and go call some people, okay? You need to know this information, 100%. Now, let's clarify a few things, just so we're all on the same page. So, Tommy, what is APR, and how does it work? You know, because I got this credit card, and this credit card is around, like, 25% APR. Well, what does this mean, Tommy? What does APR actually mean? Well, it means annual percentage rate now what this means is for example if i were to carry a balance of 100 dollars on this card they would charge me around 25 dollars a year because the apr is around 25 percent so the apr is the interest that they will charge you for whatever balance you have on the card for that entire year and another thing i want to clarify is this no one talks about this but compound interest okay now if you don't know this credit cards are usually compounded every single day meaning that for example by the way Compound interest is basically interest on interest. If you owe $1 on this card and it charge you hypothetically 10% every single day on this card, well, the first day it will be like $1.10 you owe. The second day, it's supposed to be $1.20, but now it's $1.21. Why? Because it basically took the dollar plus the 10 cents, and now they charge you interest on that dollar and 10 cents, not just on the dollar that you originally owed. That's how compound interest works, which is good when you're investing, but bad when you owe money. So for example, so if you owe a lot of money, over time, this compound interest is gonna be accumulating and accumulating every single day. So there's that. Okay, Tommy, I think I get it, okay? APR, annual percentage rate, compound interest, interest on interest, but what is APY and what's the difference, okay? I don't understand this. Well. APY is usually higher than APR. Now, what does this mean, Tommy? Basically, APR doesn't take into account compound interest. So imagine, right? Remember when I told you, well, it's $1, then $1.10, then $1.21 because it keeps compounding on each other, right? You understand that? Well, APY takes that entire thing into account and calculates the interest for one year, calculating the compound interest on top of that. That's the only difference. The only difference is APR is the regular rate APY takes into account compound interest on top of that. Comment down below, let me know if so far you understand what APR is and what APY is also and what the difference is between them. Comment down below, let me know. If you don't understand, comment down below. I'm gonna be in the comments all day today, so I'm gonna be answering all the questions. So if you have any questions, comment down below. And you might be wondering, Tommy, okay, I think I get it, but I still have more and more questions. And here's the thing, guys. I'm actually gonna call customer service right now for my credit cards to discover and actually find out exactly all the details on APR, how it's calculated, what it is monthly, what it is weekly, why they do it, why they don't do it, how they come up with the entire interest rate. I'm gonna ask them all those questions, so make sure you stick around for this because you're gonna hear all the information straight from the horse's mouth. So let's call them right now and find out. Now, Discover is 24 seven, seven days a week, and they usually answer very quickly, so let's find out how long it actually takes to get on the phone. Yeah, hey, my name is um, Tommy Bryson. I'm doing good. I'm just calling in today just to find out some information about APR and how it works because me and my wife, we were actually sitting down today 
and just trying to figure out all our finances and we're just trying to figure out like um like a lot of questions actually so i wrote some questions down is it fine if i go just go over them with you if that's fine with you yeah absolutely i'm more than happy to assist no questions you have for me today okay, awesome so how, basically the first question is how does apr work yeah, for example like works. what's like what's my what's my um my annual apr so right now you are under zero until december 25th of 2019 you're under yeah. promotional Mm -hmm. um, once that expires, any remaining balance or anything carried forward, if you start to carry a balance from month to month, will be under a variable 18.24%. 18.24%. Okay. And here's my question. For example, when that time comes and say, for example, I want to carry a balance, like when it says, for example, like, hey, like this is the minimum payment. That minimum payment, is it just interest or does it have capital alongside it? So it will, um, your interest will be included in the minimum payment, yes, but okay. it won't all be interest, no. Okay, so my question is, um, what percentage is usually going to just be capital? Because I know, like, the percentage for the APR is going to be, like, whatever monthly APR it is, but, like, for capital, what percentage do you guys actually take to actually, like, calculate that, the minimum payment, basically? Okay, so it, it, it will be 2% of your balance okay. is how we calculate your minimum payment, okay? Okay. Now, when you start accruing interest, we still calculate it at 2% of your balance. Okay. Okay, that's going to be your basic calculation. Mm -hmm. Unless your interest happens to be more than that 2% method, then we'll add $20 to that so that something is going towards your balance. That makes okay. Sense. Oh, okay. So it's not... Actually, that, that didn't make any sense at all. So you're saying that, um, for example, if the interest... For example, if I owe, like... Ten thousand dollars and the APR, say for example, the interest is gonna be like like um what is it, like like two hundred dollars, and that interest is like two hundred dollars. So then, what percentage would be like capital in that state? It would just still it would still be like two percent, which is another like two hundred dollars. So, okay, so yeah, so if you well no, so if you had a okay ten thousand dollar balance, two percent of that yes would be two hundred dollars. Yeah. But if your if your interest for the month was two hundred and twenty. Obviously, we wouldn't only charge you $200 because your interest would be more than that. So we would uh, charge you 240 because that way you at least had something going toward the balance. Okay, okay. Because it would be $20 more okay. than what your interest was, whatever okay. is greater. Okay, so it's $35. And whatever is greater, and if anything's like, if your interest is greater than thirty-five dollars, you add another twenty bucks. So just in case, we can actually just like go towards your capital also. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. And how does compound interest actually work? Because someone told me today at the office that you guys actually um like like compound the interest every single day or something like that. Mm -hmm. Interest is um, accrued daily. Yes, if you carry a balance from month to month. Okay. And for example, what does that mean exactly? Because someone like like put an example in my head, and they were like basically telling me. If you owe like one dollar and they're charging you like ten percent every single day, that's a dollar ten, a dollar ten, dollar ten. But if it's like being compounded, then it means that if you owe like one dollar ten, then the next day you're gonna owe like one dollar twenty one cents because it's being compounded on top of the dollar ten that you already owe. Is that how it works? So in essence, yes. But um, keeping in mind now that eighteen point two four percent variable that you're seeing, yeah. that's your yearly rate. We divide yeah. that by three sixty five to get your daily rate. Yeah. Um. So that eighteen two four um variable that is not what you're being charged daily. Yeah. yeah um, I'm aware so, of that. So what it sounds like is um, that, yeah. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, if you have um, we go by your average daily balance. So okay. um, if you do you have a copy of your statement? No, I don't have a copy of my statement though. No. Okay. Um, so if you have a copy of your statement or look at a copy of your statement, um, when you um, look at it under where your transactions are, uh, you'll be able to see we um, give you a breakdown on what your average daily balance is per, um, that we would charge you interest on um, for the month. Okay. And uh, you would be able to see that. And that is what you would actually see that we charge you. So you may, like your balance may be $10,000, but if you didn't carry that $10,000 for the full month, like say you didn't make a large transaction till toward the end of the billing period, yeah. and you, you only have like a $5,000 balance for the majority of your billing period, you may only have an average daily balance that you accrued interest for for like maybe $6,000. So what it sounds like is compound, so com yeah, compound interest... It's basically your APR divided by 365 gets gets you like that number every single like daily. But on top of that, if you if you're carrying a balance of like maybe like a hundred dollars, you'll be charged that, but you won't be charged more interest until like you have a greater balance, basically, right? Correct. 
Yeah, okay, like with your it. balance, like. Uh, now, how do I ca- how would I calculate like um the the monthly APR? Just like divided by like twelve or something? I mean, that is a rough estimate on how you could do it if you wanted to do it. But I'm um, keeping in mind that um, some months have thirty day cycles and some have a thirty one day cycle. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it would give you a rough estimate if you wanted to do it on it. Okay. You know. Dividing it by 12. And, and, yeah. And question, for example, right now my interest rate is, um, what is it, like 18% you said? 18.24% uh-huh. variable. Uh, what's the lowest you guys offer? So that just all depends varied on person to person. Mm-hmm. But what's the lowest um, you guys offer? But you're at offer? zero. <laughs> well, you're at zero right now. So that would be the yeah. lowest that we would have as a promotion. I mean, w- yeah. without the promotion, like what's the lowest you guys like usually offer? Because I saw, I think it was like 13 to 25%, was it? Uh, so again, I, I, I don't know what the lowest is. I've not seen a Okay, so then my so then my question becomes basically, um, if I if I have a good standing with you guys, a good standing on my account, and for example, when I first initiated everything, I was at eighteen percent. Is there any way that I can call back in and then like renegotiate like the interest, like um, and and have it like lowered? Oh yeah, absolutely. So you can always take a um, call in to see if the lower rate is available for future balances. Absolutely. And does, does that affect like my credit score or something? We do not look into a credit rating um, or pull a copy of your credit report to look into a lower rate. No. Okay, awesome. And for example, what's the, what's the prime rate? Because I did notice like on the on the on the thing, it says like the prime rate is like two something percent, and then you guys charge like another sixteen percent on top of that. So I'm just curious, like what's the prime rate? Prime rate right now is five and a half, so five point five percent. Like five point five percent, and then but what, mm-hmm. what does that mean basically? What does the prime rate actually mean? Prime rate is the Federal Reserve rate, so it's the rate which we borrow against. Federal Reserve. Okay, so that's the rate you guys pay for the money, and then you guys flip the money for like another like um sixteen percent or so. Mm-hmm. Okay, and for example, um, uh, what is it? What does um a variable APR mean? Does that mean there's also variable means that it is based on the prime rate. Okay, so, so for if example, the prime rate changes if it goes up or down, then your mm-hmm. rate will go up and down followed by the prime rate. So does that mean that your rate stays the same? The only thing that's variable is actually like the 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 prime rate. Correct. Okay, got it. And how can I avoid like um paying the interest because I'm still confused about like the closing dates and all that fancy stuff. Um, to avoid paying interest, to pay the statement balance in full each month. The statement balance in full each month. So, for example, if I were to spend a hundred dollars now, and I paid off before my payment is due, I'm good to go before the closing date. Because is there is there a difference between like the closing date and then like where my payment is actually due? Mm-hmm. So yes. So. Um, there's usually a five day period between your due date and the closing date. Okay. So does that, so your so, due date's the 20th, your closing date's the 25th. Okay. So the most important thing is basically just like paying attention to the closing date rather than like your due date, right? Mm-hmm. So you, I mean, your due date, you'll want to have your minimum payment due. Um, but mm-hmm. if, I mean, as long as you have, uh, but you, you would want to pay your statement balance in full each month to avoid interest. So like your, so if you were occurring interest, you would want to have that paid in full each month yeah. before your statement closes to avoid interest. Okay. If you were okay. occurring interest right now. Okay. I think I'm going to, I think I got everything. I'm going to take this information to my wife and then hopefully like okay. now we both have like a better understanding of everything. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. No, you're very welcome. Alright, bye-bye. So, there you go. You heard it straight from the horse's mouth. And hopefully, you enjoyed that conversation. Again, I only waited around, like, one minute for, like, Discover, like, customer service. Again, they're always, like, so good at customer service. I'm never actually surprised because they do a very good job at it. But... I know you might still have some questions, so I still kind of want to break everything down. Tommy, you know something? Well, your credit card doesn't charge you any interest because you have a promotion. Why do they do that, huh? Why do they just charge you no money on the first, like, 12, 15 months? Well, the answer is this. Because they actually think that the average person is going to fall for this trick. So the trick is this. If you have a credit line of maybe, like, $10,000, maybe $1,000, doesn't really matter, right? You have $1,000 credit line, but they're not charging you any interest. Well, you're probably going to say, like, hey, okay, I got an idea. I'm just going to use it stack up my balance, then I'll pay it off when I can. Well, what happens if you overuse it, now the promotion is done, and now you have to carry a balance for a very, very long time. Because on average, if you overuse it, you probably can't afford to pay it off instantly. So then that's how they get people. They get you in, no APR, you spend a lot of money, now we got you for like 10 to five years, or like five to 10 years, whatever you wanna call it. And that's how they trap people in the credit card debt cycle. Tommy, well, how does loan consolidation work? Well, if you wanna find out how that works, subscribe, Hit the like button, comment down below, let me know. That's a full different video, so I'll make it as long as you request it. Now, the last question is this. Well, Tommy, does the APR even matter? The answer is 
No, not really. For example, remember when I told you like, hey, they used to charge like around like 80% in APR every single year? Well, it doesn't matter because if you're paying off your balance every single month and you're just buying things you need, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much you try to charge me because I'll never let you charge me in the first place. But just in case anything does happen, the APR does matter. And usually the APR is based on your credit score. So again, so again, if you have a high APR, doesn't matter. Just pay off your balance every single month. Now, if you plan on carrying a balance for a long time, don't know why you would do that, make sure your APR is pretty low. So comment down below, let me know, do you understand APR, APY, how everything works? Did I answer all your questions? Did I not answer your questions? If I didn't, comment down below those questions. I'm gonna answer all of them. And if you want any more videos, just comment them down below. I need ideas, I upload every single day. So I'm gonna make those videos no matter what. Now, before I leave you, I want to say this last thing. Well, Tommy, what do you have to say? I already watched this whole video. Well, here's my thing, bro. Basically, a lot of people out there say like, hey, Tommy, 24% is nothing. It's just 2% every single month. Well, here's my thing. It's very important you don't carry a balance. And here's why. This is going to be scary. Well, you know that the average ETF, right? If you don't know what ETF is, I have a video on that also. But here's my thing. Your average investment is going to make it between 7 to 12% every single year and the APR on the credit cards around 24% so unless you're Warren Buffett you're not gonna be able to actually have an investment that pays you more than this credit card is gonna charge you on a yearly basis so it's very important because 24% every single year for the next 60 years is a lot of percentages okay Alexa what's 60 times 24 60 times 24 is 1440 so that's 1140 percent and by the way that's not an accurate estimate but i'm just like putting that out there just to let you know like hey it's a lot a lot a lot and if you have to pay money on your money every time you use it i just recommend you don't carry a balance buy what you need don't buy anything you can't afford and here's my rule of thumb don't buy anything you can't buy three times if you can buy it three times, you can pay it off whenever you like, okay? That's what my rule is, so I don't buy anything I can't buy three times. As always, guys, if you're watching the video, if you like the video, go ahead and like the video. Helps out the channel a ton. On top of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video, which is literally every single day. Yes, I talk very fast, and I like it. On top of that, guys, if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, uno a uno, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. Again, I answer all my DMs. So whatever you DM me, I'm going to answer. I'm going to help you. So don't worry about that. On top of that, if you want to join all of us here from the channel on Discord, go ahead and try to join us. We have a link down below. It might be too late. We only have 100 spots open. Once those 100 spots are filled, we're not going to open again until 2020. So get away. You still can. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thanks for watching and peace. You've got to start at the bottom.